Yo, how's it going everyone, GBG here and in today's video, I'm bringing to you my talkthrough guide for Forspoken. This will be a guide to help you understand the game's mechanics a lot better, basically allowing you to get to the level that I am currently at uh, with the combos and just the combat system in general. So with that being said guys, leave me a thumbs up to help the algorithm a little bit. Leave a comment for sure, even if you don't have anything to say, just drop a, I don't know, a thumbs up in the comments and uh, yeah, let's go. So. As you know, the game is pretty complex. You have a lot of skills, a lot of magic, and there's just too much, okay? So my job here today is to help you get better with everything you have in your arsenal for Forspoken. Okay, so what do we need to learn first? First thing we need to learn is managing our stamina. So what we're gonna do is decrease our stamina recovery to minimal, so like default, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is consume all my stamina and we should then be ready to go now I have no stamina what you're gonna want to do is press R2 and circle and R2 again circle R2 keep doing this and you should be able to move even when you don't have any stamina as you can see I do not have the dash cancel animation after I do my stamina I mean my attack like I just showed you guys so I'm gonna expand all my stamina again and I'm gonna show you that you cannot run after you lose all your stamina. So what you're gonna wanna need to do is press the attack button and circle right after. Attack button, just hold the analog stick to any direction you want and circle. And over and over again, just keep doing this any direction you want and make sure you direct the camera to that position too, okay? And this will allow you to literally smooth around the map without spending any stamina. And this works with the silent magic, which is the sec I mean, the very first magic you unlock in the game after you go out in your mission, followed by the phrase magic, which is your own. So you can do this by shooting, circle, shooting, circle. And you, as you can see, I'm not spending any stamina whatsoever to move around the map. And the reason why I say this is because you can set the stamina to be uh, in default mode, allowing you to be super precise with whatever you do, which e with each move set that you throw out there, you're gonna have to make it count rather than just spamming the, the attacks, being able to evade all the time. With the stamina set to default, the game becomes harder and you are gonna have to watch out for how much stamina you're consuming, okay? Which is a good thing. If you want high, you know, high level experience in uh for spoken for the time being until they release some stronger enemies with a patch or maybe a dlc or something you know so also i have damage significantly increased which means if they hit me i will take a lot of damage and difficult of course set to hard no aim assist no spell switching uh slow down and no auto spell switching either and no auto evasion this is good because i want the toughest experience possible in the game which actually forced me to get better at the game so, that's how we manage our stamina. The following, these are the following inputs. You're gonna want to press R2, followed by circle, any direction, followed by circle, so R2, circle, R2 again. R2, circle, R2 again, and just repeat this. Just repeat this. If you do it too quick, then you will get the dash cancel animation. You don't wanna do it too quick. And if you hold circle, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna shoot and you're gonna do the dash cancel animation. You don't want that. You wanna let go of circle every time you press it. So R2, circle, let go of circle, R2 again, and again, and again. Just keep doing this. Let go of circle each and every time. Do not hold it, because if you hold it, you're gonna get that animation. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to do one hit cancel, which is basically almost the same thing, but it changes a little bit. Your one hit cancels are as follows. You can press, in case you didn't know, in Forspoken, when you're sprinting, or even when you're in the air, airborne, if you press the left analog stick inside again, you will stop mid sprint. This allows you to do animation cancels in the game. It's obvious. It is literally telling me, GBG, you can cancel your attacks when you sprint like this, as you can see. And after a dodge, you can also, literally, you can also uh, do an animation cancel by canceling your dodge sprint right away. Not even just the dodge sprint, but just the dodge itself, which means we could possibly we could possibly just use that as a stamina consumption uh, thing as well. So we can just go 
Yeah, look at that. You don't even have to attack. You can just press circle, left analog stick in, circle, left analog stick in. So circle, left analog stick, click each and every time. Each and every time. And I'm able to dodge with or without stamina, okay? But you're able to dash around the map, not dodge. If the attack is an AoE attack with a big radius, in other words, it will still hit you because you do not have any stamina to dodge. So you're going to have to just move around the map and be behind the enemy so they don't target you directly, okay? So be wise, not stupid. Anyway, moving on. One hit cancels. This is the way it works. For the silent magic, it's super simple. All you have to do is press circle right after hitting it. And you should do one hit cancel. And you can do this backwards. But be careful because if you do too quick you will have an animation that does that okay you want to be just timed you want to make sure you time it and you can choose any side same thing just by pressing circle now the way to do the next one is the more complicated version this is the dash cancel animation that i just taught you and uh, this version allows you and will require you to be super precise with pressing the left analog stick inside after each and every dash so boom dash left analog stick right away so and you need to get the sparkle animation around your character and you have to press the left analog stick immediately wow it looks like i haven't done it myself in a long time there we go i just had it i have to be super quick so i'm gonna do it mega fast there we go that's the animation you want to get you see how quick that was compared to compared to this oh hold on See how many, see the, the, the speed difference? How quick that was? That's the one hit cancel. You have to be super quick with it. It's almost the same, but this one has a little bit more speed and finesse to it. And it looks better too, because uh, the sparkles around your character just adds a little bit more sauce to the gameplay, you know? And you can do it backwards as well, but you just have to be super precise with pressing that analog stick. There we go, see that? Like that. You can't just hold back and then click and so hold back the easiest way to do this is hold back press r2 immediately press circle so as soon as you press r2 you're gonna want to press circle basically so and then immediately press the left analog stick inside and then followed by r2 again so and again and again so like so like so like so and again like so easiest way to do it is backwards and again and again and again and again now we're out of stamina we can probably still do it like so actually no I don't think we can now we can because obviously we don't have any stamina because it burns stamina that version but when you have the stamina set to high if you just want to show off and do some compelling gameplay videos with like cinematic cuts and fancy combos then you want to get set it up to high and make sure i need to practice this myself guys but it's super rapid the inputs are as follows okay for the one hit animation cancel you want to press r2 and the minute you press r2 you're going to want to press the circle button straight after and then immediately after you press circle you want to hold whichever direction you're going followed by the left analog stick inside followed by r2 so boom boom and boom boom and again boom boom and again backwards is easy to do like so and like so now i'm going to be explaining to you guys the alternate directions and alternate attacks that you can get from for different uh magic types and also for the same magic because you can't do it with every single magic as well as the same magic that i'm currently got on so well, i'll do this i'll demonstrate this with the magic that we currently have on which is sila which is melee magic that's the first thing we should probably prioritize because everything else you should do should be super easy because it's just shooting it uh this one requires more finesse and if you're gonna be on enemy's face you will get hit if you don't know what the hell you're doing so that's why i'm advising you to follow these specific steps and learn these specific cancels so you can get out of the way before you get hit all right so different ways of running as in different directions of you running towards them so for example i'm running to the left now i get this animation so when you hold circle to the left side and then press r2 you will get that animation when you hold circle and run to the right side you will get this animation when you hold circle and run forward you will get that animation and when you run circle hold circle and then press back not that 
because he just climbed the tree. God damn. <laughs> you get that animation. You get the backstab. That stab right there, that's the back dash animation, okay? So, how can we cancel that animation from happening? Not only can you cancel this by just holding, uh, not even holding, by just clicking the left analog stick in before it happens. So you can do boom, and then click the analog stick inside. As you can see, Frey just stopped running mid animation, mid dash animation, and then press R2 again, allowing you to go into the first basic attack again. See that? So again, again, you see? Super simple, it allows you to start different variations of combos as well as spell switching. That is a whole reason why I'm showing you this, okay? After you do square, this is my combo that I'm gonna teach you right now. This is something I need you guys to learn on this video, okay? By the end of this video, I need you guys to go ahead, tag me on Twitter if you can pull this off, and I'll be super impressed. I'll even retweet it. I'll retweet every single one of you that um managed to pull this off. I wanna see how good we can get together, and if you guys have any tips for myself, and when it comes to video making or game as well, knowledge, anything at all, please do share it with me. And I'll be super grateful and humbled to be acquainted with you guys. So here we go. You press circle, I mean R2 to attack, followed by dashing to the side and hold circle. And if you do not want the animation to come out, which is the animation to the side, to the left side, then you're going to want to press the, the left D-pad. So boom, left D-pad, followed by uh, R2. But if you want the animation to come out, then you don't press the left, I mean, the left click, then you just let it go. You just press and hold circle, and then, I mean, press and hold, sorry, my bad, I'm getting confused. Press and <laughs> press R2, followed by hold in circle, followed by R2 again. So if you do not want the animation to be cancelled, then you just keep holding circle and then attack, okay? And the way to do this as well, for other ways, you can do boom, like so. And if you want to do a double hit really quickly, so for example, I can go like that, so double twice, and then do into it. And the way I do this, all you have to do is wait for the animation to reach its end point. And this end point is when it reaches like, like that, that position right there. When she gets to that position, that's when you want to dodge to the side and immediately press R2 again. So boom, and then do it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So boom, and again. But it doesn't even have to reach that end point. You can actually cancel a bit sooner. So you just have to watch out for the animation, like how quick can you input that, you know? Now, what I'm gonna need to teach you is how you can make it so that it's viable in a combo, okay? So this one hit cancel will be super viable because now I need you guys to switch your spells between these. And yes, you have more hits, but it becomes the same after a while. See, this is what everyone plays like in this game. They just be spamming this, but you can actually do what you can do is do this. You can mix it yourself. Make it more intricate. This is just melee, by the way. Still just melee. Still just melee, okay? It's just a way to... Uh, Open up your arsenal of combos a little bit more. Okay, guys, that's all I'm trying to do here with the melee attacks. So, if you guys, now, as I was saying before I started saying about this, all I need you guys to do now is to change your magic type after using melee attack. So you're gonna do melee, change magic, dash to the side, followed by shooting, okay? And I'm doing change magic to the left. So this will be your left D-pad. So, Silas Magic, R2, left D-pad, followed by circle, R2, followed by this time around, you're holding circle. Just after you press circle, uh, after changing magic to your, to your own. So, Sila, change magic, R2, I mean, um, my bad, Sila, change magic, circle, and then keep holding circle. So, you're shooting, you're, you're using circle, shoot, keep holding circle and then press uh, the change magic again to Sila for the backstab or the side attack. So you can go into this or that. So you can go Sila, change magic, R2 hold, triangle, I mean circle even, and then straight into that. Or you can do another variation where you can go boom, oh my bad, boom, like that, or again, uh, sorry my bad, 
that version as well that works or the backstab my bad again you gotta be super super quick with this like so like so my game just glitched my bad about that and again there we go just like so and of course you can actually go forward as well so you can go like so or changing magic is super important in this game it will add a lot to your gameplay and styling in, in this video game completely will change your your uh, way that you'll see this combat system is way too deep and you need to learn so much and so do I I'm still learning myself as I'm teaching you I'm still learning myself so let's just break that down again you're gonna want to do R2 first immediately press the left d-pad followed by circle followed by circle and then hold circle and then press r2 immediately and then followed by changing magic to silo again by pressing the right d-pad and then r2 again so r2 change magic to phrase magic circle hold shoot and then uh right d-pad r2 so circle hold shoot right d-pad r2 let's just go from here circle hold shoot right d-pad r2 that i need you guys to get this animation right so circle hold shoot bam just like so and that does spend stamina okay so let me just remove the very fast stamina recovery so it does spend stamina so here we go we're gonna go bam and again let's do that again bam and again let's do that a few times until you get it and again and again that you need to get this right and now change to backstab okay so backstab, all you're going to want to do is hold the left analog stick towards the screen right after shooting. So boom. And then change magic to uh, to uh, Silas magic and then press R2. Whilst still holding circle, do not forget. Boom, boom, bam. Like so. And you guys also, you might not know this, but in the game settings, someone told me today actually. Uh, I'll try and bring up his name just give me one second he actually commented on my stream last night that i was doing for you guys um you guys can probably hear my baby in the background uh where he says oh his name is kaz uh his name is kaz 6678 and he's spanish and he said bro yesterday i discovered that you can change the type of magic with the touchpad and that is true you can actually do so and i didn't know until a few days ago when I came across this and I was like, wait, I haven't used this at all. I thought it was useless, but no, it's actually super useful for for combos as well, especially when you're mid-air and you're trying to, you know, scroll through your skills and you're like, ah, I just want to go to the specific magic. That's when, uh, that's when you want to go, that's when you want to press either swipe up for the lightning magic or swipe down for, uh, for the Prive's magic and so onwards you know it chooses a specific magic rather than uh you getting confused through you know scrolling through the types of magic that you want to pick whilst you're mid-air because when you're mid-air things get a bit complicated you want to make sure you have the correct magic that you want and you want to come down on their heads <laughs> like so all right all right man so so far now we know how to do this move right here followed by that now i'm going to show you what more you can do with this so the reason why we learned that is that we need to understand that different types of dash to different sides will give you different animations. This happens to every single magic. Every single magic has a different animation to this to their to their back dash. This is my favorite one for Pravs magic. I love that. It allows you to go straight into um I need to that stamina to be set to max again. Because it does deplete super fast. So imagine when you're fighting a quick uh, a strong monster. And you run out of stamina. This happened to me very often last night on my stream. And it's crazy. Anyway. After this, you want to go straight back like that. Um, you want to slap them with the with the ball in the face. Oh, that kind of is <laughs> sus. <laughs> anyway, you want to slap them with that in the face. And then followed by, uh, followed by shooting backwards like this. Okay, so normally how I do it. I start with this. Followed by the ice move. Like so. Followed by dashing to the side and then coming in like that so if i put that together this is what we should have we should go boom uh my bad no 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 i started bad started bad we go shoot and then start from where we started before
as you can see. That's the point we are learning this right now. So what I'm going to teach you right now is just this one whole combo. So in the next video, we can move on. OK, we need to get this right. And it's, it was important for us to break down the reasons why we were doing this and also how we can get to this point. So what you're going to want to do, guys, is really just get used to changing your your magic types and switching. And I know it's going to be super hard and tough on you guys because you don't have the extra back buttons like I do on my controller. But I'm sure you wizards can perform it just the way I'm doing it, okay? Uh, so what you're going to want to do is hold back and make sure you switch to lightning. So we now know how to do this, right? All right, we know how to do this. So this time around, if you do not want to go back in with the melee, you don't want to do this. You want to go straight from this to them. Okay, you want to get away this time around. You don't want to go back in. You want to go. To, it's it's important to know these two variations because if you if your melee had if your melee built right, you have a build based around melee, then you're gonna want to go back in and slap them in the face. But if you do a hybrid build and you just don't care, you want to shoot them too, you want to style on them, then sure, you can do this version here where you're gonna go attack followed by shoot and then immediately switch back to the left D pad. So you're gonna press left D pad twice rather than going back to right d-pad and sorry i need to cough once more <coughs> so we're gonna go r2 switch weapon shoot and then switch weapon again by pressing left d-pad and then hold back like so and you shoot them so we're gonna start right here from shooting them like this okay because we need to get this because after this, you're going to want to press circle again immediately after shooting that. As soon as you see this animation, press circle again. And then press left D-pad again to change to ice magic. Okay, we're going to go. Uh, here. Boom. Boom. And then right after that ice magic happens and takes place, what you're going to want to do is double click from each direction. From, so from, not even from each direction, my bad. Uh, the right D-pad to the side twice after the ice magic, okay? After the ice magic, you want to press the right D-pad twice to go into phrase magic and then immediately hold your left analog stick to the side to uh, preferably the right side because you want to get this Max Payne animation where he sh she shoots him like that and dives on the ground, which looks pretty sick. I love that freaking animation. So ice magic, double tap. Uh, sorry, my bad. Ice magic. Double tap right D-pad, and then immediately press circle. Uh, so what I do, mid animation, so mid ice magic, right? I double tap right D-pad right away, followed by circle to the side, followed by R2. So we're going to have to get used to this. Double tap circle, I mean double tap uh, right D-pad, followed by uh, circle, and then, you know, right side dash. So again, let's just do that again. There we go, okay? And again, let's just do that once more. There we go. Like so, okay? So the inputs are as follows. Just gonna start from the ice magic. Dash backwards until you see the light take over your body like that. So dash, light, boom, R2, followed by double tap the right D-pad to the side. Followed by, again, circle forward and then R2. And that's where we should end it. So we should go from here. If we do it all together, we're just gonna start from the ice magic, double tap, shoot, and then go back in and shoot again. So I need to be super quick and precise with this. So here we go, we're gonna go boom, boom, and then in again, like so, okay? Okay, so that's great. We're gonna go from here. My girl was just telling me about dinner, so I may have to go soon. Um, we're just gonna do it one more time, okay guys? So. Just so you guys can understand, the inputs are as follows. After shooting with the lightning, like so. So you're going to want it to do the very following inputs. Back with your analog stick, left analog stick. So circle. So back circle, R2 with the lightning analog stick. I mean with the lightning magic, followed by uh, left D-pad, uh, followed by R2. So lightning, shoot. Left D-pad, analog, I mean, uh, my bad. God damn, it's so confusing. This game is too complex. I'm honestly, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted with this combat system. It's very complex. 
So my bad when I have to repeat myself. I'm just want to make sure everyone knows every, uh, exactly the inputs right. Okay. So back, circle. I mean, yeah, back, circle, hold. Okay, back, circle, hold. Back, circle, hold. R2. Followed by changing your magic to the left side. Okay. So back, circle, hold. R2. Magic change. R, uh, and then back, circle again. Followed by R2. So back, circle, R2. Magic change, back circle, R2 again. So again, back circle, R2, magic change, back circle, R2 again. Now if you put it together super quickly, this is what it should look like. Okay, we're going to do that again. And then twice to the side, as we just learned. And we go back to magic, uh, the, the, the lightning magic again. We go boom. Oh, my bad. Let's just start that again. So back circle R2, change magic to ice, double tap to the side, and again, and again a scene. Oh, I just, I even I get confused still, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to teach you something I've learned myself, but I'm, even I get confused. This game is so sick. It's so complex. I love it. But it, it helps you, man. Your brain will adapt and trust through hard work and just learning, you will get it. You will get it, I promise you. So you go back. Circle, R2, change magic, ice, double tap the right D-pad to the side, and then circle again, forward, and then bam, go back to, to lightning, do it again, magic, boom, bam, 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 oh, no, wrong one, ah, goddamn, I need to do it, if you get this three times in a row, it means you're ready, so you go boom, boom, like that, and then again back, and again, Ah, I feel like I'm running out of space. Okay, let me start from here. Let me start from here, guys. Let me start from here. So you go backwards. Boom. Ah, oh, why did I change magic? I need to do it three times before I end this. Because otherwise, how can I... Here we go. We're going to do this, okay? Three times. Boom. 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 Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. We can... Boom. Wow. Wow. Okay, again. <laughs> so complex, I love it. Boom, boom, and again. No, woman, I needed to hold circle. If you don't hold circle, you will not get the ice ash animation thing that she throws, you know? So. Oh my god, oh my god. So again. Now you see why it takes me so long to make videos. No, I didn't. Oh my god, I had one more time. One more time. All right, here we go. I'm confident. Yes. Yes. And, and now we're going to try and do it super fast. Oh god. Yeah, that's going to be another myth. Yeah, super fast is the tricky part. You need to do this fast because obviously the combat system here is fast. So, wow. Okay, fail. I'm just going to do it one time, but just fast. Ah, okay, again, again, again. No. No, why don't, why don't I get the animation right away? No. Oh. Okay, and again. No, I needed to hold circle. Sometimes you have to hold circle. No, I need to hold circle a little bit longer. I need to wait for the animation to end. Ah, I see. Literally before this animation ends. So here, this is where I mess up. See, before the animation ends. So right here, that animation cannot end. And before it ends, you need to be inputting back circle with the weapon uh with the with the magic change okay so we got to be on point with that so you're going to shoot forward just practice this forward shoot change magic immediately press circle and again okay boom change magic okay and again like that and you can do this repeatedly actually this is sick this is it i just learned this i literally honestly on oh god i just learned this 
How quick? How awesome is that, dude? How awesome is that? No way. No way. No way. Wait. Backwards. Forward. Sick, dude. And start again. Oh, no. I messed up. Wait. How does it start? How do we start the whole thing? Okay. So, if I don't want to go back to melee, I go... Okay. I got it. Okay. So, the whole thing, right? From everything we learned so far today. Ah, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Doesn't matter. No. Wow, I can even go to the side, bro. This game is sick. Here we go, here we go. So, boom. No. Again. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, listen. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go since my dinner is ready, but um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this, you know, at least made you slightly better with the combat in Forspoken. That was a very long tutorial. Um, I wish I could show you this against an enemy. Matter of fact, let's just do that before I go, actually, because this is my training spot. Let me just save before I go. So I don't know how long I've been here, but it means, you know, clocking into hours. Um, there we go, 85, ooh, 90, oh my God, bro. It's actually way, way, way more than that. But here we go. Let's try it against an enemy. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go melee first. We're gonna start with the melee. So also, I'm gonna give you guys the location of this. I just need to get him properly. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. I don't want to go back to melee, GBG. Uh, okay, I got it. Okay, I need to. So, boom. No, the tree was there. Okay, here we go, here we go. No, he's gonna kill him. Okay, nice. Okay, let's just start that again. That was bad. That was bad. You need to... We need to get used to this. We need to get used to this. I need to get used to this. So, that was sick. What we just learned is super sick. So... Nope. This is what I mean by timing the things you do. So. And you also don't want to. Okay, and again. Ah. Oh my god, I run out of space. I run out of space, bro. When you run out of space, you sometimes get into parkour. So again. Okay, let's try it again. Boom. Oh, no. So, boom. No, I did it the wrong side. See, if you do the wrong side, you also get the wrong animation. You need to watch out. And camera movement and everything is super important. Yeah, I'm almost dead. No. Oh, my goodness. Again, I, I don't care. I need to get it before I go to dinner. I need to get it so it makes sure you guys know exactly why we're training for these purposes. So, again... again. Wait, hold up. There we go. Ah, the rock was in front of me. The freaking rock. I just have to do it once. What? What's going on? Come here. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And again. Please, bear. Please. Oh, I got an idea. Hold on. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Here. This makes them confused. And they can't they can't attack you whilst they're inside. So here, look. Now he's stupid. Now he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> so we can practice now. Nope. Oh. So boom. Boom. Ah. But as you can see, guys, we, we can just practice. The, the power to do that, guys, you need this. The distortion, it makes them confused, allowing enemies to go confused, obviously. And then they can't attack you whatsoever. So go ahead and practice this. Make sure you let me know uh, how it went. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys with part two soon. Probably tomorrow, if anything. But uh, I also have a few videos for God of War that I need to get out this week. So 
yeah, if not for Spoken Tomorrow, probably the day after or something like that. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later. Thank you for watching this video. GBG, peace, love, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.